Hey everyone. So, how do you feel about transitions? Says the woman sitting here with a lot of colors going on in her hair. <laughs> um, it seems like not that long ago, I was fretting about having to shed all my comfortable layers for shorts and, oh my goodness, a bathing suit. And now I'm like, point me to the water, I'm in. <laughs> so I got over it, right? But here we are again getting ready for another transition. We have back to school approaching, fall is coming, and everyone's a little uneasy, right? And I don't care if you're nine or 90, you never ever get over the feeling of back to school. And I don't know, is it all the commercials that keep hitting us? And it doesn't even matter if you're selling school supplies, if you're selling a car, if you're selling a refrigerator, you're capitalizing on this back to school, back to school sales, right? Uh, maybe it was in the pencil it, I don't know, but you just never get over that feeling, right? And it's kind of a mixture of nerves and maybe a little bit of excitement. I don't know, I'm gonna go 80, 20 on the nerves. Maybe 80 nerves, maybe 20 excitement. Why, because we're all pessimists, right? We always think like, oh, I'm gonna get that awful teacher not going to sit next to my friend or or whatever it is or this this job's going to be awful or whatever your transition is you always think negative why do we why do we do that why don't we always think oh maybe it's going to go wonderful maybe I'm going to have a great transition maybe it's going to be a wonderful year no well, that's human nature right uh, a few weekends back there was an old testament reading in ecclesiastes about life and how the Hebrews tried to make sense of everything we do in life and why we do it. Why do we work? Why do we seek pleasure? Why do we work really hard and gather up all this stuff and you know all this belongings and everything and then it, we're just gonna die and go into the ground and then the next guy's gonna get it. Why do we do that? And I think the author came up to the conclusion that this was vanity. All this is vanity and I think he means the I think he means it's futile. Right? It's, what is the purpose of this? So, in that sense, you see, I mean, this was a long time ago, right? These Hebrews were going through the same thing, the changes and transitions and why do we do things. But, and we're not the first people to do this, but if you read further on in Ecclesiastes to chapter 3, you got one of my favorite readings in there. And that's the one about, you know, there's a time for every purpose under the sun and not because the birds sang that in 1965. I like me a good old folk hymn, folk song, folk song but um, I like those words and they go through the litany of everything we experience over time. So like there's a time to be born and a time to die and a time to plant and a time to harvest. And a time, they even have a time to embrace and a time to be far from embracing. And I used to think, what does that mean? You know, I heard those probably in the song and I read it and I'm, what does that mean? Well, we just went through a pandemic, right? Oh, there was a time for not embracing. I mean, if there ever was one. <laughs> so we, we got through it, but all these things, all these affairs uh, happen under the heaven. There's nothing new under the sun, as they say. So even though we lament these changes and wonder why we're doing it. Everything is gonna be okay. God is good, right? God is always good. And you know what? We're gonna find good times in those moments. We're gonna we're gonna embrace the pumpkin spice and we're gonna go for the Halloween candy and we're gonna get together and we're gonna bake breads and you know we'll have some good times. It's not gonna be bad, but we, we you know the change we'll get in the rhythm. It's just that change, it's just that moment in time and then ooh, that anxiety about it. But I, I don't know what changes you're going through. Maybe maybe you're going to a new grade, maybe in school, maybe you're getting a new job, or maybe you're moving to a new house, or maybe you're downsizing and maybe going off to college or going through something else, maybe having a surgery, maybe something else is happening in your life. I don't know what those changes are, but remember the Hebrews, they didn't have all the answers, but they knew one thing, that God is good and everything has its time 
and it'll, it'll all be okay. And trust me when I tell you, I am the last person to ignore, to, to listen, to heed this advice. And I will ignore it myself, but everybody take a deep breath and let's all pray that this will be a good transition for everyone that we'll have a good year. You know what? And maybe even pray to those Hebrews that went through it themselves. <laughs> Call on them if you need them. But um, I just offer this out. Prayers for everyone who's going through transitions, everyone who's starting out fresh somewhere in the fall. I wish you all the best year full of wonderful possibilities. Hang in there. God bless. Stay safe.